What's the importance of work in progress limits within a Kanban system? Well, unless you have work in progress limits, you do not have a Kanban system. What does that mean is that work comes in, you start a piece of work, another work comes in and so on and so forth. So the work in progress or the queue length, if you like, it's growing all the time. You will not be able to achieve predictability because your system is not predictable. Work just comes in and whenever you get chance on it, you start it or whoever is shouting loudest, you start their piece of work and you keep switching between one work item and the other. So this leads to an unpredictable system of work and people who worked on this in these kind of systems are very familiar, familiar sorry, with firefighting or expedites, whatever word you want to, to use. In other words, a customer, VIP, somebody will say, where is my work? I've been waiting for 10 days, 10 hours, four hours. And then we stop what we're doing, we jump on that one, we move that along a little bit. And now what we've done is we delayed something else. So this vicious circle carries on, interrupt after interrupt, expedite after expedite because there is no web limit in the system we haven't got an understanding of what is constraining the system where the bottlenecks are so web limits will create that as soon as you put web limits on you're putting a constraint onto the system which says we cannot start another piece of work until something is done or out of the way now how you do that, whether that is a constant whip like the one I just explained. In other words, within your system end to end, you just say, you know, we will not have more than 10 pieces of work. And until that 10 goes to nine, we cannot stop and start a new one. Or other, other ways of creating that constraint. Doesn't matter how you create that constraint, you need a constraint within your system, which turns it with, from a limitless we can do anything and it doesn't matter how many items we have the queue keeps growing we are not predictable we cannot pr make promises that we can keep and we are totally reacting and firefighting and totally working in a stress system the whip limit constraints will enable you to move away from that into a controlled system where you can get statistical knowledge from your system become predictable make promises that you can keep reduce overburdening create a happier environment for everybody to work and benefit